Tuesday guys. So I am downtown right now um, at Infused Mud Spa and we are just using this space to shoot some content. I'm here with Melinda from Bengals and we are shooting her new, what is this, your spring? No, not spring, summer collection. Yeah, Summer Summer's Retreat. It is so beautiful. I am like obsessed, obsessed with this um, set. This is like my favorite one out of all of them. There are so many sets though. Look at all of these. They're so beautiful. And we're also going to be doing a live together um, where she is putting a exclusive offer on her live for people to shop using a discount code. And then you can also use my own discount code um, which is Hamali15 for 15% off, right? Yeah. Yeah. Look at this. Obsessed. Happy Wednesday, my loves. Today is filming day, which is why I look like this. I'm absolutely obsessed with this jewelry set from Bangles Jewelry. Look how beautiful. I just love it so much. I feel like I could wear this all day, every day. And then I did this beautiful gold glittery cut crease as well with like a little bit of that mint green in the waterline. Just so fun, so summery. I also love this blouse so much. Like the arms are so cute. They're like a little cutout with like these dangly bits. Um, and this blouse is from Nalux. I wanna, I wanna pronounce it as Nalux. I don't know if it is for sure or maybe if it's N-A Lux, but I will put their handles in the description below so you guys can check them out because they have the cutest blouses. I'm obsessed. I also got this in black as well, just so it would match like all my different Indian outfits in case I wanted to like switch up my skirts or whatever it is. So today's a bit busy because I've been filming all day and at seven o'clock I'm going to be doing a live Q&A interview thing with my friend Julia who is running a masterclass right now and she's just having like guest speakers come into her class. So I'm gonna be joining that today and I'm really excited to be talking to her class. And then I'm also doing the girlfriend hour with my girls Kavita, Sonia, and Kathy at nine o'clock where we just talk about taboo topics and controversial topics on my other page, the Up To No Good page. And tonight's topic is all about when one door closes, another one opens, you know, when something ends, something else begins. So we're just gonna be talking about that and, you know, hoping to empower and encourage people that are watching. I'm pretty much done filming for today. I'm gonna take all this jewelry and stuff off and change into my regular clothes. And Vicar and I are probably gonna go for a walk and then I'm gonna come back and do all those other things that I mentioned. I finished up my class with Julia. It went really, really well. And Vicar just made us some dinner, some salmon. Thanks. So I'm gonna eat right now and then go prepare for my Instagram live. It's been a really, really long day. Happy Thursday, my loves. So this week has been super slow. Um, I've just been like doing a lot of work and stuff like that. So I didn't vlog too, too much uh, at the beginning of this week, um, but Today I am headed out to go to the dollar store. Uh, my birthday is next week, so I'm planning on doing a birthday photo shoot and like some videos and stuff like that for it tomorrow. So I'm just trying to get some like props and stuff like that for it. I honestly feel so weird about my birthday. I think I feel like this every year, um, but I'm turning 28 this year and a part of me just like whenever my birthday comes around just feels so blah. I start thinking about all the things I've accomplished and then um, it goes into like me thinking about all the things I haven't accomplished and then I start to feel like oh my gosh I haven't done anything with my life and like what am I doing at 28 and um, you know am I even doing good and I just kind of spiral into this like really bad thought process of just not feeling good enough and so I'm really trying to get my mind out of that just because I, I do feel like I have done well but a part of me feels like an imposter because I'm like, am I allowed to say I'm successful? Like there's all these other things that I still need to get done and I haven't gotten them done yet. And so like, can I say that I'm successful? And 
yeah it's just been it's it's been a really weird i don't know time for me uh and i think especially with like covid and just always being in lockdown it's also affecting my mental health and just how i feel about myself and going through another birthday in lockdown it just really really fucking sucks but you know what i feel really grateful that i have people in my life that constantly remind me that i am doing well and that they love me and that you know i'm gonna get through this and i i i just feel so grateful for that and I just like couldn't be more thankful for those people in my life but I'm not gonna lie it does suck it's just like a whole whirlwind of emotions where I feel like I'm doing okay but then I'm not doing okay anyways uh, I'm gonna go to the dollar store and grab some stuff for my photo shoot and then maybe also pick up some food I'm not sure but we'll see I actually don't know if I can buy anything because it says that this section is closed. Well, I mean, obviously I'm not in the right section, but like, I don't think anything that's not um, like essential I can buy. So what a waste of a trip. Uh, fuck, I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. All right, I got back from the grocery store and I bought all the little props and stuff that I need for my photo shoot tomorrow. Um, I was gonna do some editing right now, but I think I actually need to clean my room because my room is a fucking disaster. Like I am so bad at keeping things clean. Is anyone else like that? I just, it's so annoying. I always say that I'm gonna like keep things clean and keep it organized and then I never, never do. I have this huge pile of boxes to unbox like there's so much PR that I need to get through that I just I get so lazy um and then I also want to film some stuff so that I can have Meva edit it when she comes tomorrow I don't want to do any of this I don't want to clean I hate cleaning <laughs> I wish I had someone to clean for me I'm gonna manifest that I'm going to manifest that in the future I have someone that cleans for me um, because I fucking hate it. I hate it so much. Vikra and I decided to go buy lunch today because we were tired of eating chicken wings and kale salad. So where are you going, sir? We're going to Subway and you're driving into McDonald's. I think I know what your heart really wants and I think it's McDonald's. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go to Subway and are going to get some sandwiches and then get back to work i'm like not even halfway through my um unboxing i'm tired of it and unboxing hurts my shoulders for some reason i guess because i'm like bending over onto the floor but um, i don't want to do it anymore it's the aftermath of all the unboxing now it's time to clean all this shit up oh my god i'm so tired I am so grateful that I get all this PR, but fuck, keeping up with all of it is so tiring and exhausting. Like, I sometimes it just feels really, really overwhelming. I mean, I really shouldn't be complaining because I'm super happy and blessed and grateful that this is my job and this is what I get to do and that you guys support me so that I get all of this stuff. But sometimes I just feel like I can't keep up and it's just really overwhelming. The boxes are all cleaned up, but my desk's are still really messy and I am just watching um, the Leafs VIP pregame that they sent me. I've been working with the Leafs uh, for the past like year now and it's been really fun and um, they invited me to like a VIP experience so that's what I'm doing right now. Hey guys, so it is Friday today and my birthday is next week so I am doing a birthday photo shoot, I think I already told you guys. And we have Sarathi in the house from Six Weddings and she is just setting up a background for me so that I can shoot my content. Hi! <laughs> We're going with like a gold sparkly background and I plan on wearing like a tutu and I have like the cake and stuff like that that I bought yesterday and hopefully it all kind of matches. I'm not really sure. This is all so last minute. Sarathi is amazing. She came like so last minute. I was like, <laughs> I need um, a background. <laughs> She's like, don't worry about you. Girl. So yeah, uh, hopefully this all turns out pretty. I mean, it's looking pretty, so we'll see how it goes. So this is a setup we ended up doing upstairs. 
just like a sparkly rose gold background. I found five balloons in my closet, six actually, there's one over there, um, in my closet, thank God, because God damn, I'm so upset that the dollar store was closed. So this is the first setup, and I'm gonna do some content in this like navy blue dress, and then I have another setup downstairs, which I will also show you guys um, in a bit, and that one's gonna be a lot more fun and like kiddish and um, summery, so I'm really excited about that. So you guys will probably see me in the blue dress first. I'm so out of breath because I just like came up the stairs. <laughs> um, but you'll probably see me in the blue dress first and then I'll show you guys the downstairs setup once we start shooting there as well. Skip to the face. <laughs> I'm so happy I found these balloons. Yeah. I was so upset. I was like, the dollar store was all closed and I was like, excuse me. I have to do a birthday photo shoot. Like, where the fuck am I supposed to get balloons? And I was like, fuck, I wish I had gone to the dollar store earlier because then I would have, like, just ordered shit off of Amazon yeah. instead, you know? Like, fuck. Okay, so this is the second setup. How cute. Meda did most of the setting up. Um, and it looks so good. I love it. I got this carpet from Six Weddings. Uh, she just laid it on the ground and so is that little table thing, but I am obsessed like summer vibes so cute Okay, we are done shooting for today and now we are cleaning up um, She did an amazing job I'm so happy that she did basically this entire setup and I loved the way it turned out and Now we just got to clean everything up and I'm exhausted Oh, I'm not even like in camera. I just want to sleep. Oh, that's what I'm gonna do today on a Friday night, just sleep. Cause I'm boring. Putting away all the cupcakes with all the candle wax in it. We lit the candles so much. Like look how freaking tiny. They're so stumpy. These candles are because like we lit them to the point where there was no candle left. Poor things, they were like, stop off. God, I got icing all over my hand. Saturday everyone. So today Vikra has planned us a date night, right? Yes sir. Well, so romantic. So romantic. Um, so he planned that we would go to this food truck festival that is happening at Scarborough Town Center. And um, there's this like Egyptian food truck that's there that I really really want to try out that I've been seeing on like everyone's Instagram stories. So we're gonna go try that out. And then we are gonna go where? To the bluffs? Go to the bluffs, have a nice little walk by the water, and have some drinks. Drinks? And yeah, man, there's not much you can do in Ontario right now, so. Well, that sounds like a fun date night. Nature, to me. nature and food is all we can really do right now. Um, even if things were open, this sounds like a great day to me. So I'm very happy that he's taken me out. Is what we got some chicken and waffles um this is some type of like taters with some beef stuff on top i'm not really sure so good though vicar already ate, like demolished like half of it um and then this chicken sandwich from tuts i've never tried egyptian food before so i'm really excited to try this we stopped by lcbo picked up some ciders and now we are off to the scarborough bluffs um I'm so happy we got to go to a food truck festival. We haven't done one of those in so long. It's been freaking ages. It's like always to do when we first started dating. And so it was just really nice to go to one. And now I'm excited to go sit by the water. We got home. Um, we brought some dinner home and like watch a movie we watched that movie woman in the window or something like that on netflix it was pretty good yeah it was good it wasn't bad and now we are going to go get mcflurries from mcdonald's because that is the last of what vikra has planned for our date night i'm excited for mcflurries i haven't had mcflurry in a really long time i hope it doesn't fuck up my stomach 
we got an Oreo McFlurry with two shots of hot fudge in it. So good. This is literally the best. All right, guys, I'm going to end the vlog off here because my Sunday is pretty boring and there's really nothing that I'm doing today. So I just want to say thank you so much for joining me in another weekly vlog. If you did like this video, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. And as always, thank you so much for all the love and support you constantly show me and I'll see you next time. Bye.